good morning, evening, or night. Wait, evening and night are the same thing. Good morning and afternoon and night. This will go up on a different day than when I recorded it. So, let's go. Chapter 22. Journal. Friday night. Today, when I got to Grandpa's, I knew right away that he was in a bad mood. He had these little eyes and his eyebrows were going off in every direction. We went out. He walked faster than usual. I thought he was pushing himself. I said, we're really stepping out today. He didn't say anything. I said, it was cold last night. No answer. Did they turn on the heat in your building yet? Nothing. At first, this mood of his really intimidated me. I wanted to get the walk over with, get away from him and let him have his rotten mood to himself. Then, gradually, I don't know why exactly, my thoughts or my feelings shifted around. I think I started feeling sorry that he was coughing and wheezing, that he couldn't keep on walking fast, something like that. And this idea came to me. Maybe he doesn't like being in a crummy mood any more than I do when it happens to me. So I thought, well, I'll try to get him out of it. And I started talking about Martin, my boss. At first, it was the same thing. I talked, Grandpa grunted. Forget it. I gave up. What was the use? So then we were both not talking. And then suddenly, Grandpa says, What's this so-called job? So-called? It's not so-called. It's a job. I'm a bad girl. Bad girl? Bag. G-g-g-g-g-g-g. Bag girl. I'm not deaf, Rachel. What's a bag girl? You know, when you go to the supermarket and somebody packs your bags, that's me. You'll do that? What for? What do you mean, what for? What for? What for? Why? Why? You mean, why do I do it? To earn money. What do they pay you? Minimum wage. Pfft. And that was our big conversation. Then he clammed up again. So I think to myself, what was that all about? And the only thing I'm glad of is that he wasn't the only snapping turtle in that converse... In that... In... Bleh. And the only thing I'm glad of is that he wasn't the only snapping turtle in that exchange. I'm walking along with him, giving him little sideways looks and thinking about this and that, about Lewis, about work, writing, etc. And I suppose without my even realizing it, Grandpa's there in my head, too, because suddenly I thought, oh, right! And I understand and I understood exactly why he was in such a bad mood. I wanted to slap myself on the head for not figuring it out out sooner. It's so simple, really. Thursday, I work, so Grandpa doesn't walk, which makes him feel mad or bad, one or the other, or maybe both. I said, Grandpa, did you go out at all yesterday? He gave me one of his grunts. And mmm, without the ha. It could have been yes, or it could have been no. But I'm pretty sure it was a no. Saturday. Today, walking with Grandpa, we passed by that enormous blue spruce on the corner. We pass it every day. I always look at it. Grandpa said, I watched that tree grow. I said, I like that tree. How tall do you think it is? Forty feet. How old is it? Not as old as me. Monday. I asked Grandpa if he and my grandmother did a lot of walking together. He said, who walked? And then he did this little wave of his hand that means don't bother me. But then, without my even coaxing him, he went on talking. Those days I worked. Eva was busy with the house. The children. The children. Who heard of walking for enjoyment? How about for exercise? He looked at me, 
one of those sly from the corner of his eye looks, and he said, Exercise is a modern invention. I started laughing, and he looked really pleased with himself. Mm-huh, he said. Mm-huh.